So GOP candidate Alan West, uh, he's running for Congress in Florida, was giving a speech, and during the speech, he talked about the number one thing that really pisses him off. So this must be something serious. Let's go to the video and figure out what it is. Let's go to video number eight. Driving up here today, I saw that bumper sticker that absolutely incenses me. It's not the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the bumper sticker that says coexist. Oh, hell no. And it has all the little religious symbols on it. And the reason why I get upset, every time I see one of those bumper stickers, I look at the person inside this drive. Because that purpose person represents something that would give away our country, would give away who we are, our rights and freedoms and liberties, because they're afraid to stand up and confront that which is the antithesis, anathema to who we are, the liberties that we enjoy. Right. Okay. So, you know, we talk about Republicans constantly trying to divide the country, and this is a perfect example of it. What I find ironic is, look, as a black man, as someone who's experienced discrimination in this country, as a man who has been discriminated against and who has seen his ancestors discriminated against in this country, how dare you talk about how the bumper sticker coexist is unfair and, you know, pisses you off. It's so ridiculous. And that's what this country is all about. The United States is not about one race, one ethnicity. It's about a melting pot of different races, different ethnicities, different religions getting together. That's what's supposed to make this country great. And then you have this guy giving a speech in front of an audience talking about how, oh, hell no, coexist? What are you guys talking about? Take that bumper sticker off your car. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, but you know what? I think it's a perfect example of how Republicans think. I mean, he's, he's almost kind of given us a gift because he says, look, uh, I'm not going to be subtle. I'm going to tell you what we actually think, we, that we should not coexist, that my religion, my faith, my belief, whatever it might be, my tribe should dominate, right? And that I don't want to coexist with Jews and Muslims and Buddhists and Hindus. But if that's what you're in favor of, well, then you're not an American because, I mean, the Constitution could not have been any clearer. Right. I mean, they say it a million times, but that's the whole point of the country. And they missed it. They missed it entirely because yeah. they're conservatives. Right. They don't believe in that concept. You know, and he goes on with his hateful rant uh, and, you know, starts talking about Islam and how Islam is not a religion and they're vile. I don't want to give too much away, but he goes on this, in my opinion, very un-American rant. And I, I want to show it to you guys. It's video number nine. Let's go to it. And if we do not have leadership in this country that understands that there is a fifth column that is already infiltrating into our colleges, yes. into our universities, into our high schools, yes. into our religious aspect, our cultural aspect, our financial and our political systems in this country, that enemy represents something called Islam. Islam is a totalitarian, theocratic, political ideology. It is not a religion. It has not been a religion since 622 A.D. And we need to have individuals stand up and say that. All because people are looking for principal leaders and courageous individuals that will stand up and will protect the American people from this very vile and very vicious enemy that we have allowed to come into our country because we ride around with bumper stickers that say coexist. Oh, hell no. You take that bumper sticker off your car. We are not allowed to coexist. Damn Islam, they're ruining this country. This guy is no. such a clown. No, and I gotta, you know, straighten you out here. I think he makes a good point because uh, he said they're taking over politically, financially, uh, societally, etc. And I, I really do see that. Uh, I, you know, I was walking by Wall Street here in New York. Turns out, totally taken over by Muslims. Uh, Muslims running Wall Street now. Uh, they're in charge of Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. They're working on Citigroup. They haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> in this guy's insane, perverse worldview, Islam is about to take over America. I mean, not only do they not get the point of the country, yada, 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 but also they're, like, totally detached from reality. They live in a whole different world mm -hmm. where there's conspiracies afoot and these the Muslims are dark forces coming to take us, and they're almost there. God, they're almost in Florida. They're about to win if you don't elect this guy to fight.
fight back. Yeah. I, JR, do you have something I don't, to say? I don't think um, – well, this, obviously, I think with a lot of them, they know the actual – what they're saying is BS. They, they have to know this already. Um, just to go through all the things in the coexist means, because it's made up of different symbols. I'm sure everyone's seen it before. Mm-hmm. Um, but the C is for Islam, which is the only thing this guy is focusing on, obviously, because they're destroying the country. Uh, peace is the O. Male and females is the E. You know, mm-hmm. co- coexisting males and females is ridiculous. Um, the X is for Judaism. Wiccan is the I, and uh, yin yang or Confucianism is the S, and Christianity is the T. So, in all those different ones, they all have to be separate, apparently. Or if you let any of those in, because this is a damn coexist bumper sticker, just pisses him off. It must mean that all these different groups shouldn't be anywhere near each other. Am right. I right? That should be the next question asked to this guy. Right. And in that case, you can't have peace and the Christi- Christianity sign. You can't have peace and Christians in the same uh, area coexisting. That wouldn't no, make no, any no. sense. You guys are missing it. That whole point of that bumper sticker isn't all those other religions. It's to secretly allow Islam to take over America. <laughs> they just, you know, putting the Buddhist and the and the Wiccan stuff in there just to, you know, throw you off the scent. Right. You know, but Jr. brought up a really interesting point, and this is what I always wonder when I hear uh, people like Alan West making crazy claims. Like, does he actually believe in what he's saying? I mean, it, it's hard to believe that someone could say these things and believe them to be true. But at the same uh-huh. time, like, what what good is he doing for himself? Seriously? I, yeah. Do, does the I, GOP... I, a, I, I, a, I know the GOP is questionable, okay? But does the GOP listen to that speech and say, wow, Alan West hit the nail on the head got to elect him. I mean, what good is he doing for his campaign? I think he's making himself look like a clown, and I think that he's totally ruining his chances of actually getting elected. 